The search for two boys missing since the weekend has taken a tragic turn tonight. The family of the 13-year-old boy confirms police found their son's body along the Harlem River this morning. Chopper 2 was overhead this morning as police boats were searching the water near the Madison Avenue Bridge. CBS 2's Doug Williams is live in Harlem now with these breaking details for us. Doug. Christine and Maurice, it's this morning in the East River behind me where police say they did recover a body, and the body now confirmed by the family, 13 year old Garrett Warren. The NYPD says they recovered the body at about 10 15 this morning. Police have been searching for 11 year old Alpha Barry and 13 year old Garrett Warren, last seen together last Friday night, according to police. Police brought what we now know is Warren's body from where it was found on the Manhattan side of the river to the harbor unit on Randall's Island, eventually brought from there to the medical examiner's office in Manhattan, where the Warren family has since ID'd 13 year old Garrett. Police say Barry and Warren were seen to, uh, together on surveillance video in Harlem Friday night and are believed to have been friends. We have heard from police sources that Warren's body showed no signs of trauma, no foul play is suspected at this time. And police do believe, now that they've found the 13 year old's body, that they can narrow their search into the East River behind me. They are using everything they uh, can to search, including divers, sonar, and drones. We've seen several boats and helicopters pass by within the last few hours. We've been here all day. For now, we're live here in East Harlem. Doug Williams, CBS 2 News. Okay, Doug, thank you.